Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome day. I'm having a good day, pretty good day myself. Uh, I'm the Gamer Hobbit, and today we're back with episode 18 of Minecraft here. And what we did in the last episode, which I'll show you all real quick, is we, we did do this little uh, walkway, I suppose, but we did do the interior, more importantly, of uh, a little, I'm just going to say an estate, I doubt it is, but you know. <laughs> This is what we did, you know, added some lanterns, added a nice grandfather clock with the uh, armor stand, and added this table here, and added a little bit of outdoor decorating as well. So today, what I want to do is I want to try and finish this, finish this uh, area. So what I've got here is a, uh, like a well, just a well outline. So we're going to do it here, and it's going to be, well it's going to be a 5x5. Five but uh, I'm out of those actually they're not supposed to be there so it's gonna be a 5x5 five five, but there's no good uh, there's not gonna be any corners so this is just like the little area to walk up on and then on the sides we're just gonna mix it up a bit with uh, just some cobblestone and some endosite just like this and then we're gonna have some fences that are uh, come up like this and and we're gonna be use a mixture as well a, a little bit of spruce fence as well so just do something like that and then uh, we'll, we'll put that one up and we're just gonna do this and then probably put another spruce fence like there and just raise it all up like this pretty nice it's a kind of a I try not to make it a pretty small uh, well design, but I doubt it's going to be small. I, I did do this off camera, so I also did do a couple of other things off camera as well. So hopefully we do get this done today. So what I'm doing at the moment is just putting cobblestone slabs on each of the fence posts and then adding a cobblestone stair on the top of that. Now what we're going to do here is... Uh, add a like a you know use oak slabs to go around the outline i'm trying to keep the the design of this stay true to you know, all of the other places along here and then uh because um you don't want to just have this place looking completely different so this is just going to come all the way like this and so we're just going to probably just add an oak block up the top like here so it's a pretty nice and small uh pretty nice and small well you know it's kind of comp compact and all that but i've got another idea as well which we're gonna do yeah, so we're just gonna get some iron bars to bring down and then um we're gonna grab this cauldron and and obviously fill it up with water to uh show that it is it's too too high i think i'm gonna bring it down by one just to make it like as though it's still coming up is it? here we go and we're just gonna fill that up with the water and then we're just gonna hop out and just see see that's what it's gonna look like it's pretty nice pretty nice and small well uh i'll fill all this uh, like in a sec but uh this is just basically what the actual overall design is and then obviously this is going to be filled up with water and the walls in here are all going to be replaced with uh, the cobblestone andesite and it's going to go this deep actually well it's not like you're going to really notice anything we might sneak something in for a future but we're not going to at the moment so I'm just going to go and fill all these up with uh, um, the walls of cobble and all that and I'll get back with you guys in really quickly so once the well has been filled up and placed with all the uh, cobblestone and aside we're gonna go and use some buttons just place them around the place uh, just to just add some more detail I suppose to the place and we're just gonna add a couple on the inside as well just do something like this uh, actually, that'll be enough. We don't need to add too many. Otherwise, it looks like we can always add some up here. 
and we'll just do that. You won't really see them at the top. So that's the well done. Uh, I'll do the pause thing just off camera later. But we're good. what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to doing a another house. I was thinking of doing one house on camera so you can see what it looks like. And I'm just going to replicate it pretty much. Uh, if we have any, we have cobblestone stairs. Uh, we have the slabs, we have this, we're gonna need some more slabs. I'm just gonna just get some more of these. And then, it's just gonna go be over there pretty much. Uh, do we have any glass panes? And, we're gonna need to make some more, uh, what do you call it? Stairs. We're gonna need more. Uh, let's just make that much. Just start with that, it should be enough. Uh, so we're just gonna head over this way. I did clear out a little area over here. Hopefully, okay, it's most of it's cleared, which is pretty good. So it's gonna be a six by eight, uh, six by eight design. So it's one, two, three, four, which is the door, and five, just like that, pretty much. And then it's just gonna come out by eight. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like this. Pretty much like that, just kind of a, another small, uh, kind of cozy-ish you know, house and all that. And then we're just going to place, we're going to situate two windows here. And we're going to situate one window here and another window about here. So we're just going to just fill all of this in. And once I've done this, I'll probably just kind of... And build two, probably two more houses over there in the same similar design, but I'll just do it off camera because like you don't really want to see me <laughs> building more houses for maybe like another 20 minutes or something, 10 20 minutes. Uh, and we're just gonna just raise all of this up, just like this. Put a uh, stair here. There we go, and then put a stair there. Um, put two more stairs here and we're just gonna just fill this in because I get really uh, annoyed with that even though I could have just added some grass there <laughs> it's uh, no need to worry about that uh, so we're just gonna raise this up place that one there and this is gonna come up all by one more so just like this Oh, and the stairs. We don't, we don't want stairs. <laughs> We're just going to need to make some more uh, spruce real quickly. And I'll, I'll complete this house. And I'll show you what it looks like real quick. And then I'll move on to the other houses. So after a little bit of um, getting wood. I, I did run out of some spruce wood. And as you can see, it's a bit of the trees cut down a bit. Uh, I did make create this and I did finish it uh, I haven't really got too much in here at the moment I've just filled in the roof a little bit and added a bed at the moment but we're gonna do we're gonna add a couple of other things into that place as well as this area that little hut as well we're just gonna do the interior of those really quickly which is gonna be nothing much it's gonna be you know just the standardized place pretty much grab a couple of these grab a couple of those and then uh, I'm gonna grab uh, maybe do we have any flower pots left? we do we do have some flower pots we we'll grab some grass uh, we're gonna grab some ferns and yeah we'll... oh we don't need the doors it's one thing we can get rid of as well and then we're just gonna add maybe a couple of those leaves into place and I think we still have some oak trapdoors. We do have two in there. We have two. Let's take uh we don't need the glass. So I'm just gonna let's just go really quickly and just place a little bit of a uh, detail or interior stuff so we don't want a painting. We don't want paintings that big. Uh let's just confine it a bit. Actually I wouldn't mind. Yeah, let's do that. 
let's do something like this. And then I'm gonna grab uh, the bed. I'm gonna place it probably here. Put a chest over here with a, uh, a little, um, actually, we'll change it. We're gonna put a little torch here. I'm gonna get rid of that torch and we're gonna place the chest on this side. And now we're just going to put a little leaf bush just here. Just something like that. Just something small and unique. And in fact, we're going to need to... Uh, this wood's going to need to come across like that. And then... Uh, this is going to have to be like this. In terms of the... Uh, what do you call it? Archways. Let's uh, just grow back over here uh, let's head back in here really quickly before it goes dark let's just do that and then it's just a nice roof thing I just had in mind just so it looks nicer that's all um, So once we're done with this place, which it looks, I feel like it, there could be something else, just a little more, which in fact, we might put a, just something like that there. And in fact, how about, how about we change that out? How about we put, how about we put that here and then. Uh, just do something like this. Just going to take a sleep real quickly, and I think this place is done. Like it could use some more stuff, but it's interiors. <laughs> I don't know how many people would go and do an interior. So oh, and there's a creeper. Hello. Just back away. There we go. Creepers dealt with. And then I'm just gonna come in here. There's no creepers. Good. We're gonna place kind of like the same as the other place. Gonna place a torch there. Gonna place a chest just here, facing the window. Uh, we're gonna grab another painting. Uh, I feel like here. Uh, sorry about that little distraction there. Uh, just had just a few things I had to do. Uh, I did add this house at the back whilst that was happening uh it's not fully done yet but it was just a nice another small little place it was kind of almost like the small hut over there kind of, almost and i also added the um the path kind of layout as to where it's gonna go i thought why not there's still a little bit of room left i don't want to completely overkill it so this is probably gonna be the final house uh and i'm just gonna just adjust this real quickly I'm just gonna use just some stairs like this. Oh, I can do that later, but uh, we're just gonna head back into this house. Just finish off some of these interior details. So we're gonna grab, kind of like the same as before, uh, we're gonna put it here. Just a small little bush. And we're gonna grab kind of another one of those torches. And then we're also gonna use uh, gonna put a uh, I feel like a like a flower pot up here if we can okay that works okay I was just making sure that it works that's all and I think we'll be able to put we can't let's just put a fern there it's gonna take a sleep and then yeah that's just like kind of the core uh, kind of element to put in here and yeah because there's not really much else we can do if there is let me know about it uh thinking about it too let's add a small little table just right here and just make a uh i'll do that later oh so so yeah that's pretty much what the main idea was and I have that banner there just so it's like a uh, like a clothesline idea possibly just to see how 
how that goes too in case it works uh, and we're gonna grab kind of like likewise another one of these flower pots we're gonna use a different flower though but uh, pretty much you get the whole idea as to what these places are gonna look like so let me go and finish up with all these little houses and do some little uh, finishing details to most of these places and I'll get back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so I have did some little bit of nifty, not nifty, small details just around a place. I had this little bush which you did see over here, that was back in episode 2. Uh, I just thought they were quite nice and simple to do whilst you know, making them look different from the other trees. Uh, I did add just a little thing for the fern up here. Nothing really too much in here. Still need to get that done. Uh, I added this little part here. It's it's not what I liked it to be, but I thought why not just try and uh, do a little bit of terraforming here. Uh, make it so like the water comes down here. That's of course done some crops growing with some sugarcane. And it's just yeah, I added this little mound up the top. It's not as organic as I intended on being. It just doesn't feel like as though it's made by nature. It just still looks a bit, eh. Just looks a bit off. It looks really funny looking, that's all. Uh, but, oh well. <laughs> that's for another time, I suppose. Uh, and I did also come back to the mill area. I added some andesite, not too much. I just added some andesite just to change with that texture detailing. Just to make it not so it's one flat block, it's just two flat blocks. <laughs> so, yeah, so I did that. And now, I think we're almost good to call this done. So, what I'm going to do off camera now is to get the road done. Because it's just going to probably be coarse dirt. Just all over the place. Uh, I might add a couple buttons here and there and all that but uh, over, other than that there's not really much else to add. Uh, I'm gonna add that dandelion back over there <laughs> and I'm also going to uh, try and do some lighting, get some lighting going here so the road's gonna come down probably from here and it's gonna wrap around over here so it's gonna be a bridge over here which I think we'll do that for the next episode because it's not entirely part of the village, but it is, so I make it so it's not. So we might do that in the next episode, as well as a little boat, probably. And we're going to clear this island part off. So I'm going to do that, and yeah, I'll, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, everyone, I have done quite a bit of work. Uh, it's not completely done yet, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what the actual thing will look like. So, if we just turn around here, we just open the door. This looks a bit different, not overly different, but you can see it is starting to change, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, I did do a pathway. I did do, yeah, so paths linking up all of the areas, adding some fences, uh, just along, just to make it so it's like, I don't know, just to add some feeling to it. I don't know. It, it makes it. No, <laughs> no clue though. Uh, so then it comes down here. I did add uh, a little bit of cobblestone into it, just kind of near the rocky or more of the um, elevated areas. I kind of just added uh, these two need to be cobblestone, uh, just so you know it's a, just a way instead of using uh, you know spruce slabs or something, just you know, just something else. So. And it comes down here and it leads to this house obviously uh, and then there's a little bush there which I added and uh, some more fences along here now the path is just basically uh, you know coarse dirt mixture of coarse dirt path blocks uh, a little bit of cobblestone slabs and and whatnot I do hope to uh, add a couple of different types of blocks in the future hello just so it you know uh, yeah, just so like you know, it looks a bit more I don't know just, just adds a n new type of block instead of just using uh, coarse dirt and path blocks I did add uh, every now and again some uh, 
some you call it buttons. Just some spruce buttons to uh just make some little wood splinters, I suppose. And uh, I've just added this uh, rock over here. You know, just adding small stuff like this, even though they're not the best stuff, you know, just adding small bits like that just makes your area feel a lot nicer. It feels a lot more transformed. Uh, I did add another tree there. Um, the path around the well I did do as well. Uh, I do need to get some materials off camera. That's why it's one of the reasons it's not fully uh, done yet. I need to get more cobblestone because I have ran incredibly low on that. So I had to go back over to the cemetery cathedral area to grab some more materials. Uh, actually, we're just going to leave a couple of blocks in our inventory. Um, and yeah, we need, we need more gravel. We need oh, dirt. We're, we're good at the moment. So and just likewise here, just added a little steep part here or the slab elevation here. Uh, add another tree there. I will add some more trees uh, later down the line, but pretty much this is just kind of the idea for the, uh, the what do you call it? The um, it's kind of the lighting along here. Uh, and I'll get to this over here. So this kind of, uh, I see I keep missing all these little holes because of the, the path block. It's like the farmland block, how it's just, you know, like that. Um, I think we're gonna place a couple of a bit more stone here, cobblestone. And I did add this uh, little stone, little cliff face, not cliff face, just a little mound here, just so it looks a bit nicer instead of just a whole like load of grass. I might get rid of that tree. I might get rid of that tree later. And then the path comes down here. It continues uh, winding over here. And then over here, there is lava under here. In case you're wondering. Uh, and then there's going to be a bridge that will lead over here and that's where you know a whole new world begins I suppose uh, so before we do any other stuff I did do this as well just a little uh, water channel which just comes down instead of just, uh, just a nice way to kind of remove that island part I, I didn't want it to just be a plain old river. I wanted to add something else to it. It may not be uh, you know, the greatest stuff, but you know, for what I can do, it's I like it. And it seems our little friend there is enjoying it. So uh, here, just yeah, likewise, just be using a mixture of cobblestone, uh, andesite, a little bit of gravel, path blocks, uh, stone buttons. I did incorporate a couple of leaves. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them there. I was just thinking as an idea for uh, just to see how it looks with all that stuff. And I also added some uh, cobblestone walls. I did take some inspiration from... Uh, uh, I think it's Jersey Boy? I think Jersey Boy uh, did that with uh, one of his little... Uh, kind of like one of his water areas which led up to a little... Uh, cave, I think. It had a mixture of cobblestone and mossy cobblestone walls. Uh, and then I also incorporated some clay in the mixture too. And I also just bone meal with just a few little seagrass areas, which, yeah, it's overall, it's likewise here, it's not done because uh, this may actually spread along the shoreline for both sides. Uh, um, Possibly here as well. That there's going to be a new project there, which I will talk soon. Don't worry. Uh, it's more of a surprise. Just so I might talk about it in uh, episode 25. So stay tuned for that. And I will probably, I may come back and do some work here and there. Uh, you know, just like what I said, just fixing this up. Or, you know, doing, uh, continuing on with the path. Uh, just getting some more details uh, out just small details like this it just really makes it feel a lot nicer I'm not gonna have fences along this side because it doesn't need any you know, like a tree can always go there maybe uh, I was thinking of doing some custom trees there for the uh, those that spruce tree there and the other one over there I was thinking of doing custom trees for them but I'm not good at making custom trees, so I'm going to do some work off camera for that. 
Uh, but other than that, like, that's pretty much about it. Uh, our area is, likewise, well, we will be doing some more work, like, over the episodes, but the majority of it is done. Uh, so, I feel like this is probably a nice time to wrap up. Uh, and as well, I'm going to look for a name for this place. I'm going to look for a name for this place. Uh, to put a sign here, say you know, that the family owners for that. And then also, just the overall uh, village name. I do have some backstory for that, which I might, I might as well go into just before I wrap up. So, this, uh, so I did talk about that in the last episode, how this family dude family here they own this farmhouse and uh this this place was once a uh prospering little little small village here you know having a um rather quiet but a good source of uh lumber which i do need to do this off camera as well the little stuff there and also uh just just the overall that the townspeople were quite polite and friendly and all that and until we may we may kind of disclose it here a uh it's kind of a hint a group of bandits kind of stole one of their main areas of uh goods uh which i won't talk about just yet but so a group of bandits stole one of their good supply of resources uh, uh a few people died and uh overall the actual uh, economy of this place kind of just dropped drastically because that's one of the better ex one of the more popular exports like the wood was good quality but it wasn't uh, kind of wide known so that's kind of that area and then because of that uh, most of the people kind of like because most of the uh, miners I kind of just gave another hint there uh, were killed and because of that, their their families and just like overall, the, the most of the other population here is a lot uh, poorer. Uh, and however, this place here is a bit more. They they weren't really so harmed during that because they still they kind of keep their exports here pretty quiet with their wheat. They they sell it and they you know they're kind of one of those wealthy greedy families which I talked about from the last episode kind of uh, so that's kind of the idea about this place and then you know as they're, they're only giving rations out to the people they are kind of getting increasingly uh, more desperate for food and all that so as you can see they become more desperate with uh, wood supplies uh, and even as well the actual quality has gone down because you know they did have a method gonna break this a method in which this wood was not uh, like more damp I suppose from the water but uh, as one of their best dudes uh, got killed during the, the uh, little event here uh, he was pretty much the only dude to uh, kind of do that kind of like not magic uh, type of skill to uh, not make the wood uh, lose its quality and all that so I will get names and all that you know as I think about it once since, since this place is kind of done uh, so yeah and then uh, I'll talk about I'll talk about the lore a little bit more during the world tour as it's gonna be a shorter world tour because there's only you know, kind of two areas at the moment to showcase what we've really done uh, so other than that I think, yeah, like I said before, I think now's the time to wrap up. So I'll be doing some of this work off camera. But I think in the next episode, we're going to start the bridge. Uh, it's going to be probably, um, yeah, like I said, the bridge is going to be over there. And I think we're going to build, you know, maybe a couple boats, like little rowboats coming past here. And hopefully maybe we can do the custom trees then I won't have much I won't actually really have any time to do anything off camera so next episode will probably be more of me kind of experimenting so that's probably why it may be a little bit shorter hopefully a little bit of a shorter episode so I'll continue to do some work but uh thank you all for watching 
uh, stay tuned for the next episode and I will see you in the next episode as well so have a good day everyone